Yo, what's up guys? Welcome again to another Class Royale video and today I have for you a top 5 video. It's been a long since I last did one. So, for today we will be talking about the top 5 things that must be added into Class Royale with the future update. So, for number 5 I will have something that is not that important, whereas in number 1 I will have something that we need immediately. You get what I'm trying to say, right? So, on the number 5 spot we do have the global chat. In Class of Clans, the global chat existed, it was complete cancer, no one argues that, I bet Supercell knows that, maybe that's why they haven't added it into Clash Royale yet, but it was quite fun to see all those people asking, can I join your clan and all that shit, uh, so it was quite fun, some people even asked uh, for if if you have a girlfriend there, they want to have a girlfriend, they want to find a fucking girlfriend on the global chat, I don't know, desperate people. It was complete cancer, no one argues that, but sometimes it was kinda useful in order to get clanmates and meet popular players or even YouTubers. So, I would definitely wanna see the global chat into Clash Royale, hopefully they're gonna add it soon, I don't know why they didn't add it with the launch of the game, but moving on to the number 4 spot is the changes to the tournaments. Not only they should reduce the cost of the tournaments, because the cost is fucking retarded, I didn't make a rant on the tournaments and how fucking expensive the tournaments are, but not only they need to reduce the cost, because it's ridiculous, like 250,000 gems for a tournament, like... Get your shit together, Super Show. They need to change everything about the tournaments, the way they play, because the whole thing with the tournaments, the fact that you can uh, battle as many times as you want, is kind of retarded. Maybe if the tournaments were organized like brackets, you know, like in events, in sport events, where from 16 people, then we went to 8, and then to the semi-finals, and then to the final. That would be pretty fun to see. And luckily, Supercell has said that they're gonna improve the tournaments with the next update, so I'm really looking forward to it. For number 3, I'd say that Supercell should give us a feature that guarantees that we are gonna get a legendary sometime. Something like a quest, of course it must be something difficult, same for every player, so that no one has an advantage, um, and so that everybody gets a legendary, because it's stupid that only some people have every legendary and others don't even have a single one. So a fair way for everyone to obtain a legendary card or even more legendaries. And that quest idea is really smart, like now that I'm thinking of it, it would be dope. Not something easy, something super hard, like win 5000 battles and you get a legendary, but to guarantee you a legendary. So, moving on to the number 2 spot, we do have troop customization. Now, in Clash of Clans, that was a huge thing, like when you upgraded a troop, let's say the giant, it got a new artwork. It looked even more badass when you leveled him up all the way to its max level. And it was nice to see a kind of customization. Although you did not choose it, it was nice to see troops customized. But in Clash Royale we do have nothing. Like, the level 1 giant is the exact same thing as the level 9 giant. The only customization that it's in the game is that your troops are blue and the opponent's troops are red. But that's not f customization for fuck's sake, I'm talking about clothes that you can even put on your troops, or just the levels, just like we had in Clash of Clans. Why are they not implementing? They do have the artwork, they have already designed all the artwork for the levels of the troops. It is ready from Clash of Clans, just like they took the troops from Clash of Clans and implemented them into Clash Royale, with the same way they can implement all the artwork for the different levels. It's something really nice and since they did it for Clash of Clans, why they are not doing it for Clash Royale as well? But hey, we're talking about Supercell right here, so they're not logical, you know? And last but not least, for the number one spot, something that I beg Supercell to add is more achievements. In Clash of Clans, if I remember correctly, there are 75 different achievements, like, and in Clash Royale here, we do have about 10. And I want more achievements, not just for the sake of adding more achievements, because in Clash of Clans, achievements gave you a shitload of gems. Whereas in Clash Royale, the only way to get gems is from those few achievements that, in total, they don't give you that many gems, or from some chests. But still, the gems you get for free in Clash Royale are definitely not enough to even buy chests or host tournaments. 
Whereas in Clash of Clans, with all the gems that you could get from the achievements, you could buy all the builders, which actually costed about $30 if you want to buy that amount of gems. But we all know why they are not doing that, because they know that we are gonna buy gems, spending money, and that's how they make money. So that was it for today's top 5 video, guys. I really like top 5 videos. Make sure you let me know down below in the comments what top 5s you want to see. Give me some ideas. So, thank you very much for watching. As always, make sure you drop a like down below in the comment. Comment down below, hashtag Supercell with a dollar sign instead of an S. Because, yeah, that's the freaking truth, right? So, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And see ya in the next one.